Hello and welcome. In the previous episode, we saw how scamsters scammed a few people in Mumbai by taking a lump sum, three and a half lakh rupees from them, promising them that they would buy a car out of that money, rent it out to hotels and pay out 35,000 rupees every month for the next five years. Of course, this scheme had to fail. There was no way anybody can work out in this. Something similar happened to a lot of people in Mumbai and other parts of India. And these were people who were really educated. Some 12 to 15 months ago, the price of Bitcoin and other virtual currencies started moving up irrationally. People were doubling their money in few days, some in few weeks and possibly in few months also. Scamsters taking advantage of this floated various cryptocurrency schemes, called people in big five star and seven star hotels, gave them flashy presentations, created fake websites and swindled crores of rupees of money from supposedly educated people. Now these people were people who had money to invest, but they had one problem. FOMO, fear of missing out. All of them felt that price of Bitcoin and other virtual currencies is going up every day. We are not invested. Let's invest in whatever is being thrown at us. Now at that time, RBI and government of India had already declared that investing and trading in cryptocurrencies is illegal. Banks had also advised their customers not to use their bank accounts for trading or buying virtual cryptocurrencies. However, people did not heed that advice and ended up losing crores of rupees. Stay safe, stay tuned.